What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Broken Elbow Darius here, starting JJK Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 1. I am so excited for the season. You guys have no idea. If you guys don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show we do on the channel, the full length version, which is normally a Patreon exclusive, is available for everyone for free. Click the link at the top of the description. Enjoy that free full length. Come back here for the review once you're done. And if you do enjoy that format and want to consider keeping it for the future, Maybe check out that Patreon. You get early access, the full uncuts, as well as exclusive. And you guys get to vote in the polls. Tell me what to watch. Um, I'm very excited. Don't forget to follow the social medias, all that jazz. I say we don't waste any more time. Hop right on into it. This one is called Hidden Inventory. This is JJK, Season 2, Episode 1. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Things were busy that summer. Sounds like ghetto talking. I like the white noise we have in the background. Really gives me like we're in the middle of the night, you know, in a city. That just constant buzzy, buzzing of electricity you hear, you know. This is very stylized right now. Very low saturated, you know. Definitely flashback. Ghetto doesn't have a scar. He's still in his JJK uniform. I mean, yeah, you do have a very unique power. Okay. Very crazily visualized. Many have gone missing. They're paying my fees. Yeah, I know this is a flashback. Is that Mei Mei? Talking about money? Kind of looked like her, but... I'm assuming we might see some other people making a veil. He's like, we don't even need a veil. There's no need for a veil. There's something, and I don't know. I don't want to pause it because I don't want to get into this super deep. It just reminds me of like a chainsaw man. But if you guys can see like, I don't, and maybe mangas can do this, but when shows take creative liberties to change like camera shots and show you different perspectives, like, you can tell even with uh, adaptation of a manga to an, an anime, they can have create creative liberties that the directors of these animes be taken, and I love it. Like JJK, very stylized. I love it. Same with uh, Chainsaw Man. That's what I loved about it. It looked like a movie to me. Oh, see, look at that. Like that's this is unnecessarily good. They, they don't need to do this, but it's just it adds. It's, oh, it's so inc it's incredible. Yes, yeah, like that, a POV, like first person shot. They don't need to do that, but I love it. Is that the famous suicide room? Noose and everything. That's how I exactly would be clearing the room by room. But ah, gotcha, bitch. Oh, okay, clear it here. Next door. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, okay, it's clear. I can already tell when a fight's gonna happen, it's gonna get flowy. Like, you know, when JDK gets flowy, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Wait, what? What is this, some chainsaw man shit? So there is some sort of manipulation going on here. You guys are most definitely in the belly of the beast. Oh, that is such a creative way of showing us that. I love that. What is this, portal? Oh my god, that was so sick. Four kilometers? Yeah, it's not, because it would have changed the look of the location, right? It has to. Which means this is a barrier. Oh, I love that we're staying on the same window frame as they walk past. It's so creative. They're going to show them one more time walk past. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, Utahime? Utahime, uh, because I also just rewatched JJK season one in the movie because I wanted to get in preparation, obviously. But, uh, Utahime is the teacher of the other school. I guess she is wearing the same exact fit. But am I crazy or did Utahime have like a big scar on her face? Maybe I'm crazy. I could totally be misremembering. But if that's Utahime, that has to be Mei Mei. I liked Utahime during the school we school thing, too, actually. At some point, it's going to run out and not be able to build it as quick. That's a valid point, because it's just cutting and repatching. 
90 points? Oh. Ah. Can't, can't patch at both ends. Good thinking, ladies. 100 points. <laughs> See, are they second years, third years? Are they still staff members, just younger? Or, like, how does this work right now? Damn, she is a baddie. He literally got annoyed. He was literally like, all right, fuck you guys, then I'm just going to destroy the entire building. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he sounds so young. He's a second year. Oh my God. I didn't know they were still like in school school. First year, that is Mei Mei. Oh my God. Even back then, she, he still got on Mei Mei's nerves. What is the Alaskan bullworm? Oh, this is ghetto. This is fucking. This is so sick. This is so sick. That's Shoko? The very glum emo doctor that wants to cut everybody open up and kill them? Holy shit, she kinda. Okay, Shoko. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, they were supposed to put a veil up to hide everything, right? Mm, mm, mm. You guys are in trouble. Oh my god, I'm just now realizing fucking this is Masamichi. He's got the fucking fade. The boy looks clean. <laughs> I didn't even know. Was he their teacher or was he still the principal back then? I've been watching Kuroko no JJK now. Survival of the weakest. Since when does his. Yeah, when does his. When does that change? Because he calls them monkeys in the current day, you know? Damn. As Ghetto missed his shot and Gojo made his. Yeah, she's like, I'm gonna get out of here before you guys start fucking fighting. Is it weird anytime I see a hallway like that in a school, I always think of Haikyuu? Wait, hold on. Ten Frankly, I think it's too much, but Tengen asked for you specifically. Tengen is the immortal barrier keeping sorcerer of jjk right like because that's how mahito and ghetto were able to sneak past tengen's barriers and the thousand doors or whatever to get the sakuna fingers am i correct See, once they heard tengen they're like oh this is serious the star plasma vessel give me some more world building give me some more lore gojo said think of him as like a tree right Rewriting his body? Interesting. 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 He's over here making Digimon references. What are we fucking Metal Garurumon? <laughs> Not the Digimon references. I love that. Oh my god. He said, oh, Greymon is Skull Greymon. I love the old Windows 7 or whatever, Windows XP. Okay. When they said erase, not kill, bring her safely here. But so we can steal her body. Oh, I love that shot. Look how fucking Ghetto's walking. 
Gojo is quite conceited. He has quite the ego. Yeah, that's the one thing you have to worry about when you're dealing with non-sorcerers, though. Maybe we are dealing with sorcerers. Oh, no, that was him using a protective spirit or a cursed shield. That's fucking sick. Ooh. Some cursed assistance break the glass. Get down there. Oh, my God. He's a part of Q. Oh, a flying cursed stingray? If he didn't have his fucking limitless powers, he would have been smoked. <laughs> this season is going to be so good. Is this how we get the Megumi relative in here? I'm not a Zenin anymore. I took my wife's name. Ushiguro. Zenin, because we know... Uh, I'm just trying to use my knowledge of the Megumi flashback we got at the end of Season 1. Um, his father used Megumi and his sister in order to get back at the Zenin clan, right? Or something? Or they were his way out? Or something like that. If you guys could like re-ignite re my, my memory, I, could, I would love you. But then... So we do know he's related to the Zenin clan in some way, but he's a Fushiguro. And then, Me and then fucking Gojo took up Megumi and said, oh, see, now I'm blanking. I need to rewatch it. Fuck. But sure, count me in. Just age-wise, I don't think he would be old. He would be way too old to be his brother. Is this Megumi's dad? I don't... I know you guys are like, oh, this guy Darius is an idiot, but I'm sorry, but holy shit. Talk about an episode to get us back into the swing of things. Oh my lord, are they not giving us any breaks? They're not pausing. They're throwing us right back into the world of JJK, and they're doing us a flashback arc, which I'm super excited about. I love seeing Mei Mei, love seeing a young Utahime, Masamichi, Geto, Gojo. Very curious about this organization Q. Very curious about this other Fushiguro Zenin guy. Oh, I, I'm like I said, if you guys could answer all my questions in a non spoilery way, or if it is a spoiler to answer it, just say, Hey, you'll get that answer sometime soon. Don't worry, Buster. And I'll be like, Hey, cool, 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 cool. But overall, love the visuals of the opening, the song of the opening and ending. Uh, vis visuals of the ending, too. I'm not trying to, you know, but overall, thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Uh, I cannot wait to get further into it. Gojo definitely has some character development to get to. So does Ghetto, which I am very excited for. I love seeing Shoko, love seeing everyone, the curses, the animation is looking beautiful. Oh my lord, am I excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon, early access, full length, exclusives, and you guys get to vote in the polls. Don't forget to drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.